pretty good. <laughs> I love it. It's going to be fun. I love this process. It's so creative. You never know until you try it. Today, we're going to see how to layer our photo with colors, textures, and text and create a beautiful, unique monoprint. And we're gonna use our own images or photos to make it. Basically, we're going to do something like this one. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun process to do. Okay, so let's start now. Let's see how it works. There are obviously many ways to transfer inkjet or laser photos, but today we're gonna do our photo transfer with a gel plate. So you can get any size gel press or jelly plate. Both of them work just fine for our process. I made a video comparing these two gel printing plates. So if you're interested, check out this video here. So check it out later after you finish watching this video. <laughs> and if you don't have a gel plate or can't get one, you can easily make your own homemade gel plate and then use it to transfer and print your own photos. So check out this video to learn how to make your own gel printing plate and in this video I also show a vegan option. Other than the gel plate we need a soft rubber brayer to spread the paint. We also need some heavy body acrylic paints and I recommend using Amsterdam acrylics especially if you're a beginner. But of course you can use other paints. If you have my latest book, check out page 91 to see which paints work best for this process. And I'm going to use this paper. I really like the texture and the off-white color it has. We are also going to use some text printed with a laser printer. And finally, the image or the photo. And since they're going to be printed over a bold background, the images need to be contrasty and strong or else they will blend into the background and won't stand out. And again, if you have my latest book, there's a chapter about editing photos for image transfer. So now let's start building our background. And I'm actually going to start by transferring the background text. Using the brayer, spread the paint evenly on the gel plate. If you have too much paint, simply wipe it off the brayer. Now place the text face down onto the wet paint and apply some pressure with your hands. As you can see, the text was transferred to the gel plate. And now we're going to randomly add some paint over the text. and a darker brown color around the edges. And now I'm going to cover it all with this yellow gold paint. And while the yellow paint is still wet, I'm going to lift it all onto the drawing paper. And I'm using a clean brayer to apply pressure on the back of the paper. So yeah, all the layers were lifted nicely onto the paper. Okay, so now let's transfer and print our photo onto the background we made. I think I'm going to choose the tree photo so it will be a nice addition to my tree series. 
If you love this process, there's a detailed chapter about gel printing your own photos in my latest book, the new mixed media photography book, plus more new and updated image transfer processes. The book is available on Amazon, so make sure to get it soon. It's all inside this book. <laughs> For the photo transfer, I'm going to use this dark purple color. And now we're going to place our photo or image face down onto the wet paint. And like we did before, apply some pressure using our hands. And we got a good transfer of the photo to the plate. And while the photo transfer is still wet, we are going to place the background we have made over the photo and press it well with a clean brayer. This will help the image transfer from the plate to the paper. Oh yeah, I like it. <laughs> Came out pretty good. That was a fun process to do. <laughs> and by the way, I used this monoprint on the cover of my latest book. I hope you found this video useful and you're gonna give this process a try. Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you have any questions, let me know. <laughs> Maybe I'll even answer. <laughs> As always, I had a lot of fun making this video and I'll see you next time, <laughs> bye. You never know until you try it. Yeah, this one has a lot of text. <laughs> Basically, we're going to... <laughs> if you have any... <laughs> is to gel print... <laughs> Check out page... I don't know. <laughs> I need to look for it. I tested different paints and... Just check it out. <laughs> the detailed chapter, it's pretty good. To see which paints work for best. And if you love this process, <laughs> don't you think so? <laughs> By transferring uh, <laughs> the text with the tech, with the, <laughs> with the background text. Yay, <laughs> I said it. Need some editing. <laughs> As always, I had a lot of fun making this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>